good morning, good evening, and good night. I hope you all are doing well. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to 144 from the stars to row. So to meditate on the energy, we're just going to go ahead and dive in together, see what spirit would like the collective to know. We have the Two of Swords. We had Ten of Wands at the bottom of the deck. I feel like um, a lot of you have been carrying a, um, a weight or a burden for quite some time. And I feel like it's about to be removed. Like it's about to be cut off. Okay. We've got the Nine of Swords, the Magician, and Ten of Cups. So, you've definitely been working on bringing yourself um, to a desired outcome, a desired life. I feel like there's like a bit of a desire for an exodus is kind of what I'm feeling like. Wanting to leave a circumstance or a situation or a location behind you. But perhaps being... Um, bound by circumstantial um, hindrances or limitations. I feel like, though, even though you've had these um, circumstances pitted against you or whatever it was that you were trying to get out of, trying to leave, trying to put behind you, like this could be a job, this could be a neighborhood, this could be a family, this could be an area, this could be a lifestyle, a group of people, um, this could be habits or behaviors. Um, it, it seems like you are actually about to see a lot of progress for yourself. Like, I feel like you've been working really hard for a while and you've been caring a lot. And this weight is about to be removed from your shoulders. We're about to like cut. I don't know if it feels like we're cutting, like we're turning a corner. When you turn this corner on your path, all the bullshit falls off of you. Um, we got the chariot. So you're definitely trying to create a a life for yourself. And you may have even been a little unsure of whether or not you were really going to be able to manifest this. Whether or not this um, desired reality or outcome was really going to happen for you. If you, know, you were going to be able to overcome the limitations and obstacles that were preventing you from getting out and being exactly where it is you wanted to be. Um, cause it, it feels like there were real life circumstances that you couldn't help and you had to overcome this, but I feel like you're successfully overcoming it. And if you were worried or restless, maybe it might not necessarily be worry. It could be more of like a restlessness. Like you can't sleep at night until this is done. Like, I've got to get out of here. I've got to put this behind me. I've got to get out of this situation. I, I've got to be happy. I've got to be stable. I've got to be somewhere else. You know, this is just not good for me or whatever it was. Um, I, I, I feel there's like a need of reassurance. Because you're going to be surprised by how successful your efforts actually are. With the Magician Ten of Cups, I mean, that is someone that is very fulfilled. Like, emotionally, they are fulfilled. And that is someone that has the, the universe at their fingers, right? Um, anything you need, any resources, you have it at your disposal. So you're not in lack. And even though there have been difficulties, obstacles, um, a lot of burden, stress, you've been working really hard to accomplish whatever this is, you still got everything you need. And you're still successful. You're still going to be successful. And there's like, I don't know, there's like a, an ending coming that is a relief. And it's like a, a, a release of weight, of stress, of burdens. And um, you're going to actually be able to see, like, insurmountable, measurable progress for yourself. Um, you're going to be very pleased with what you have created. We have the sun. We have the magician, the ten of cups, and the sun. The only card that's out here that isn't 
the most pleasant energy that you could be in um, would be the Two of Swords. And that Two of Swords is like, there's a couple things here because it's kind of interesting. Um, this Two of Swords, the person in this card, is standing on this mound. But if you know this deck, um, this mound is actually the head of the top of the head of the individual in a, another one of the sword cards. So I think it's the Eight of Swords. Um, it's on top of the Eight of Swords head. So that's making me feel like there's like, there's a bit of Eight of Swords and Two of Swords energy in this card right now. It's like, you're not seeing something. And there's also some kind of like, um, indecisive or maybe like a lack of certainty in yourself, in your direction and where you're headed. Um... And what you don't see is that, all right, so <laughs> the Two of Swords is the uncertainty. The Eight of Swords energy that I'm feeling behind this Two of Swords is that you don't see that it there is certainty. Um, your success, your happiness is certain. It's guaranteed. It's coming. Your efforts, worthwhile, paying off. Your sacrifices, going to pay off. The um, extra cross you have been bearing for some time, this like sacrifice you've kind of been putting yourself through to get to where you wanted to go, that's going to pay off. <sighs> All right, but I feel like there's there's something else that's being cut off here. So let's let's see that. I just saw the star at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like not only is there an end to a cycle and you're stepping in, like you're turning the corner in your path and some weight is coming off and then you're going to actually see some progress. You're going to see some growth. Um, you're going to know, like you're going to feel reassurance and you're going to feel better about what you've been doing. You're also going to be healing. Um, I feel like this is going to allow you to be more at peace with what you're doing. And to begin with, like if there were any doubts or like hopelessness or any kind of um, negative self-talk or criticism, that's going to be removed once when you actually see this progress, because then you're going to believe in yourself a little more. I also feel like um, this with this progress comes um, a relief because you're getting away from something. You're a couple steps further away from whatever it is you're trying to get away from. And you're a couple steps closer. Eight of Cups. Split the deck right to it. On the money while we're talking about the energy. Alright, so... What is what is being cut out? I kind of feel like this has to do with, like... Family or ex-family or... I, I don't know, like... Alright, so you are... You do have success... For some of you, this is financial. Um, it's not necessarily like you're trying to get away from any kind of like difficulty or karma. You're just trying to build a better life for yourself. You're trying to you just focus on your bag, your wealth, your home, your future, your legacy. Where are you going to leave your kids? And you are successful in this desire, in these attempts. I mean, you've got the sun with the ten of cups and the magician. That's you. You did that. Pat yourself on the back. You brought this Ten of Cups and Sun energy into your life. No one else did that for you. That's why in the Magician card, that Magician has that Sun disc behind their head. You are that Divine Masculine Ray of Light. It doesn't matter if you are feminine or masculine. You still have the Divinity, the expression of the whole, the One. Um... But you're definitely going to have success in money and some kind of like opportunity. So yeah, look again, double on the success energy. We also have this two of cups underneath and there is, you know, two people in that ten of cups. So for some of you, this could be actually like creating a better life for you and your loved ones. Um, and you can take that part however that resonates. If you've got kids, then you know I'm talking about that. If you don't, well then obviously you know how it applies to you. So I feel like if you are trying to create a better life for either just yourself or for you and your family to share, you're going to be successful in this. Like double confirmation, magician, six of wands, the chariot, that is success. That's undeniable, undefeated success. That's why it's like 
I feel like some of you might be like a little like concerned or stressed or worried or you're just you're not seeing it. You know, you're not seeing the effect. You're like, I've been sitting here working at this for hours and it feels like nothing is happening. It feels like I'm not getting anywhere. I've just been swinging this pickaxe at the same speck of rock for the past 10 hours and all I see is the same damn rock. Is this ever going to end? Am I ever going to make it through this mountain? Um, and you just have no clue how much you've actually accomplished on an energetic level. And uh, like I said, it's like you're turning a corner on your path. You right now, your horizon, you don't see what's ahead of you in your horizon because you haven't turned that corner. You can't see what's at that 90 degree angle of perspective. You can only see what's right in front of you. And what's right in front of you doesn't look like shit's happening, right? So I, I feel like um, you're about to be reassured. Be patient with yourself. Be patient with the process. Trust yourself. Trust the process. Because it is going to pay off big time from what I'm seeing. Because you're very happy about this. Alright, what else would you like us to know? Yeah, you've been working on this for a while. With that Prince of Pentacles. That's, that's letting me know. This is hard, steady, consistent work. Effort. You've been trying to accomplish or build or create this for quite some time it has um been on your mind and heart for a very long time you've been trying to leave a certain cycle and create a new cycle for yourself and for a lot of you i really feel like this just has to do with abundance this has to do with home this has to do with happiness with love so like i don't know if you've previously been stressed and overwhelmed and everything's chaos and like uh, well, maybe you got roommates or you, you're fighting with family members you don't even want to be around anymore or like whatever this is maybe you're struggling bills or i mean i mean fuck it like it, what is it like ten dollars for a carton of egg right now depending on where you are i mean it used to be 99 cents now it's damn near a dollar an egg so it's yeah I, if that's what it is if you're trying to get out of this uh struggle and into a period of like Happiness of abundance of like cup never runneth, you know, um, is always running over, overflow. That's happening because you've been working really hard. So you're getting some kind of new beginning and the universe is bringing this in. It's like the universe acknowledges your efforts. The universe sees just how much the universe sees what you don't see. You don't see how much you've accomplished, how far you've come. And um, how successful all your efforts are going to be. Like I said, it's like you can't see your horizon because you hadn't made the turn yet. But once when you flip your perspective around the corner of that 90 degrees, then you see, oh, I'm just two blocks away from milk and honey. Um, but before, all you saw was dark alleys. You only had to take a few more steps and turn your head and you would realize you're almost at your destination. Yeah, for a lot of you, I really do feel like this has to do with home. This has to do with income, um, maybe time, schedule. Maybe you've been working on something so that way you don't have to work as hard. You don't have to work so much. Maybe you don't want to have to work two jobs to make ends meet. So you started something on the side and it's growing or whatever this is, it's going to be successful. I also feel like a lot of you are, this has to do with like your old self, with um, trauma, with emotions, with like past. So it's like, and I, I'm almost feeling like a frustration or an anger with self. So it's like, fuck, I will never go through that again. Or I will never do that to myself again. Or I will never allow, like, whatever your I will never is, um, it's like you turned that pain of whatever it was that you never wanted to experience again. And you use that as motivation to ensure you never would. But I feel like there's like, there's like a wound, there's a trauma, there's a shadow that you see it, or maybe you don't see it, um, depending on who you are right now. But it, it's really close to leaving you. It's really close to no longer being a part of you. Like, it's it's about to release from your identity. And we did see that, yeah. Yeah. 
holding on to things that have hurt because of enemies, opposition, obstacles. Maybe life was hard. Um, sorry about that. That was my speaker reminding me that it had no reason to be on. Nine of Wands, Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, you've had to fight for this. You've had to fight your whole way through life. Like, life has just been one big fucking fight. Like, everything has, it's like, oh my gosh, it, it seems like you would just go through, like, one series of unfortunate events to another, like, I don't know, like, you hit rock bottom, and then, like, you finally get yourself to, like, a somewhat comfortable status, and then, like, some other tragedy happens, it's just, like, everywhere you fucking went, it was problems, right, it just seemed like life was constantly out of your control. No matter what you did, you couldn't get a grip on the reins. You couldn't steer the ship. You couldn't control it. Um, it was always just out of your hands. And you were just like a victim dealing with the shit hand that you just kept repeatedly getting. That cycle's coming to an end. And for a lot of you, that's what you've been trying to accomplish is getting life under control. Um, and this isn't like a psychopath or narcissist like this isn't in the shadow way this is healthy you know this is that emperor energy what else spirit we have king of pentacles ace of swords and the wheel of fortune so for a lot of you i had mentioned that perhaps you've been working on something and if this is a an idea, if this is some form of communication, some kind of word, some kind of wisdom, some kind of literature, um, if you are communicating, expressing, exchanging anything of information, of truth, it's fated for you to do that. And that's why you are this magician, right? So whatever you are knowing, whatever you are speaking, it's going to bring you into this King of Pentacles energy. That's your ticket to your wealth and abundance. So like if you've been writing poetry or you've been writing songs or you've been thinking about starting a podcast or you've been reading Tarot, I mean, whatever, whatever it is for you. If it's not um, something that gets you money and it's based off of some form of communication or intellect or ideas or truth or information, knowledge, if it's not that element of air um, and then that leads to some kind of profit or monetization for you, if that's not what it is for you, then what this is, is like you are getting a a new truth of your reality it's like before you could have said a certain thing was true about your life and you never could have said that this was true about your life you never were able to say well i never have to worry about my bills now or well i never have to worry about what i'm going to eat tonight because i've always are able to afford the ridiculous price of groceries right now it, it's like it's something that you never were able to have true for you so like if you've never been privileged you're about to have a new narrative a new cycle in life where you can say i am privileged if you've never been respected if you've never been wealthy whatever it is you've never fucking experienced yet in life but it would be sweet and nice for you too that's that new narrative. That's that new stamp, the new truth. You're embarking on this new cycle and you're leaving this old one. So if life has felt like it has been turbulent, chaotic, out of your control, or if it just feels like it's just one problem after another and you never really can fully like get yourself somewhere stable and calm, right? That cycle is coming to an end. And I feel like it, it comes with, like, abundance. Queen of Swords. Yeah. So you could be an Earth sign. You could be an Air sign. 
You could be specifically a Leo, a Taurus, um, or a Libra. But uh, either way, all of the signs are out here and these uh, court and identification cards, while they do have a sign attached to their energy, it's not really why they're presenting themselves on the board today. This is more so representing your energy, um, how you are showing up and where you are headed. Look, you're getting your wish fulfillment. I'm really feeling like just you don't see how far you've come. You don't see just how much you've accomplished, but you're about to. You're about to. King of Swords, Strength, Double Confirmation on that Leo energy, Seven of Wands. Yeah, you're definitely, like, armored. Like, armored to the T. I feel like it's... And this is why. This all right, so that that's why I'm picking up on that. It's it's to help um for whoever needs to hear this. If your life, if you resonated with that part of the message where I was talking about like life always being out of your control, like no matter what the fuck you did, you just couldn't get life in order. Like and it wasn't your fault. It just was always out of your hands, out of your control. Like it's just one crisis, one issue after the other. You might experience a few months of in between cycles and then you're right back into another shit show. Uh, the reason why life was so like unfair, so difficult and like you just kind of had to hold on for dear life on in the storm. Uh, you know, you weren't in control of your own ship. You just kind of had to make sure you stayed in the ship while it's being tossed and thrown around all over the place because you don't want to drown or die. Yeah, it was so when you step into this new chapter, this new era is what I'm getting. It's like a whole new reign. It's like a whole new order. Um, <laughs> yeah, I like those choice words Spirit just used because that, that tells me a little bit of what's going on here. Um, very masculine. This energy is very masculine. Um, and so if you are a feminine, you're just you're grabbing life by the you know what and you're telling it, you know what? You're my bitch now. I ain't, I'm not, I'm not your door mat. I'm not this. This is what I demand. This is what I command. What I speak into existence for myself. Because I choose love. I choose happiness. I choose abundance. I should not be in lack. I should not be stressed. I should not have all these enemies trying to come after me. I don't, I don't deserve this. I'm gonna make sure I don't have this. My kids don't need to experience this kind of like whatever it is. Is, is because life was so difficult before, it was to make you, the, you were in training, like this initiation, right? Because of where you're about to be. The King of Swords, King of Pentacles, that's a lot of power. So I feel like you're about to step into a period of life where you have a lot of authority. You have a lot of power. You have a lot of influence. So... Maybe you hold a lot of knowledge and people look up to you. Maybe you are a speaker. You're a communicator. Maybe you have a lot of resources. You have a lot of wealth. Spirit wanted to show you how to be unbreakable first. So life just tried to break you constantly. So that way you would learn how to never be fucking broken. Um, and then teach you like how to recognize all the moments of life where you didn't have um some kind of, I, I don't know it, it's like you weren't in control because you're about to have so much control and we want to make sure you're someone that can handle it we want to make sure you're strong enough for this crown for this sword for this throne But now, now you are ready. Now you are stronger than ever. See, if you, you were always destined to be in this King of Swords, King of Pentacles energy, right? The master of the knowledge, master of the truth, of the intellect, of the mind, master of the, of the 3D, of the matrix, of the wealth, of the money, of the resources, of the abundance. You were always destined for that. 
But in order for you to truly step into and embody the pinnacle, the peak, like the, the perfection that this role can be played in, you had to experience the exact opposite. So your life has been the exact opposite of your destiny. So that way when you step time came for you to actually step into that North Node destiny, that power, that authority, the, the wealth, the fame, the knowledge, whatever it is, the reach, the influence, you would know what it's like to be on the other end. So in a one way, it was to teach you humility. Another way, it was to teach you reverence. It was to help you be relatable. It was to help you connect with others. It was also to make you strong, to make you formidable, for you to understand the opponent, for you to understand life. It was to give you wisdom. It was to give you insight. Because now you have the power to do something about it. Now you have the power to create something that doesn't have those issues. And, well, whenever anyone is in any kind of position of power, unfortunately, you're going to have enemies. Fortunately or unfortunately. Depends on how you want to look at it. Enemies make life a little more interesting. It would be kind of boring if everything was just all smooth and easy, I guess. So, you know, you're going to be bigger and better and stronger than them. They're no match. Because you weren't someone that was just privileged and gifted this. This isn't like you were born into the royalty and your dad died and you're now five years old and you're in control of an entire fucking country. <laughs> it's This ain't that. No. You were the peasant. You were the, the slave. You were the, the mistreated, the castaway, the nothing. The filth. And then you got to that royalty status. So this made you like a, a by the cause, for the cause. By the people, for the people. This made you a good king. A good queen, a good emperor, a good empress. Because the power won't go to your head. Because you will always remember what it was like to be powerless. So that's going to give you a softness to your um, serving hand of your authority as you delegate your own power over a situation or a person or whatever. You're going to have an empathy, a softness, a compassion that someone that just always knew this kind of life that you're stepping into, they wouldn't be able to have that because of ego. Unfortunately, they would get in their own damn way. You're not going to be able to get in your own damn way because you know better. So there's no way you can accidentally gas your own head up with this power trip. Because your soul remembers your entire life of crushing defeat and powerlessness. So when you are stepping into this position of power, of authority, your main goal is going to be to make sure... Everyone else feels empowered. Because no one should ever go through what you went through. Wow. I am going to leave this here. If you like the way that I read, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for all of your love and support. I greatly appreciate every single one of you. And I will see you on the next collective message.